At flipsidegaming.com you can use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10, and now you also get automatically entered into the Richard Kane Ferguson Playmat giveaway. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a red-green deck called Big Pig, as it is built around Ilharg the Race Boar. 5 mana for a 6-6 legendary creature Boar God with Trample, and when Ilharg attacks we can put a creature card from our hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking, and return that creature to our hand at the beginning of the next end step. And being a god from War of the Spark, when Ilharg dies or is put into exile from the battlefield, we can return it to our library, third from the top. So Ilharg is a very powerful creature that we can use to cheat even more expensive creatures into play for free with the ability, and that can close out games very quickly. So the goal of the deck is to try and attack with a hasty Ilharg as soon as possible, as that way it doesn't get exposed to sorcery speed removal. So in our deck we'll have a lot of ways to give Ilharg haste, as well as ways to ramp into Ilharg as soon as possible. So let's take a look at our entire deck list here, starting out with the one drops, where of course we've got the full four copies of Lanner Elves to help us ramp as soon as turn one. Then at two mana we've got the full four copies of Incubation Druid as another mana ramp creature, and as soon as we put a plus one plus one counter on Incubation Druid, it adds three mana to our mana pool instead of just one, and we can also adapt Incubation Druid for five mana, putting three plus one plus one counters on it, so it can start generating additional mana. And we also have the full four copies of Growth Chamber Guardian as another adapt creature, two mana for a 2 2. For three mana, we can adapt two, putting two plus one plus one counters on it. And whenever one or more plus one counters are placed on the Growth Chamber Guardian, we can search our library for another card named Growth Chamber Guardian and put it into our hand. So it tends to find additional copies of itself. And both of our two drops play great alongside Rhythm of the Wild, a three mana enchantment saying creature spells we control cannot be countered, which is great against any control deck relying on counter spells. And also non-token creatures we control have Riot, so when our creatures enter the battlefield, they either enter the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter, or they have haste. And Rhythm of the Wild plays great alongside our adapt creatures, since we can let them enter the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter. In the case of Growth Chamber Guardian, we immediately get to search up an additional copy from our library, and in the case of Incubation Druid, on the following turn it will start generating three mana instead of just one, so it can help us ramp quite a bit. And of course the haste part on Rhythm of the Wild is great alongside Ilharg, since that means if we play Ilharg we can attack with it right away and make use of the ability to put an additional creature into play, which will also get an additional plus one plus one counter thanks to Rhythm of the Wild. Then at three mana we've got some more Planeswalkers, two copies of Kiora Behemoth Beckoner, which can also help us ramp by untapping target permanent with the minus one ability, so it can untap a land or a mana creature, so we can generate one more mana. And then whenever a creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield under our control, we get to draw a card. And there's quite a few creatures in the deck with power 4 or greater, so Cura can also double up as a nice card draw engine. And then we also have two copies of Domri and Ark of Bolas, with the static ability giving our creatures plus 1 plus so. Then the plus 1 can also help us ramp, adding red or green, making our creatures uncounterable, so also helps alongside Rhythm of the Wild against counter spells. And the minus 2 gives us a bit of removal, letting a creature we control fight an opposing creature. Then at 4 mana we've got the full 4 copies of Rekindling Phoenix as a nice recursive creature that plays great alongside Cura as a 4 power creature that will let us draw a card, but also when a phoenix dies and returns from the graveyard to the battlefield, it will let us draw additional cards with Cura, since Cura checks on enter the battlefield and not on cast, so it also works great with Ilharg cheating creatures into play, will also let us draw additional cards with Cura. And then we also have two copies of Domri Chaosbringer as another way to ramp with the plus one ability, adding red or green mana. And if we use the mana from Domri to cast a creature spell, that creature will gain a riot. So that's another way to give our Ilharg haste so we can attack with it right away. And Domri's minus three can help us find more creatures. And then the minus eight ultimate ability can also be game winning, although we're often just going to be using the minus three instead of trying to work up towards an ultimate. Then at 5 mana, of course, we have the full 4 copies of Ilharg, alongside 3 copies of God Eternal Ronas, as an excellent creature to cheat into play with Ilharg's ability, because when Ronas enters the battlefield, we get to double the power of each creature we control until end of turn, and those creatures also gain vigilance until end of turn, so it can lead to a lot of damage out of nowhere, Ronas being a 5 5 creature with Death Touch itself. And when Ronas dies or is put into exile, much like Ilharg it is put into our library, third from the top if we decide to do so. And finally at 6 mana we've got two copies of Ravager Worm as another creature spell that can double up as a removal spell since it can fight an opposing creature when it enters the battlefield or it can destroy a land with an activated ability that is not a mana ability so it can be used to destroy an Ascanta that's transformed or maybe a flipped Legion's Landing so it has a bit of utility there as well. And the Worm itself also has a Riot 
So another great creature to put into play with Ilharg, since we might be able to use the worm multiple times to kill multiple creatures. And last but not least, one copy of Palaka Worm as a 7 mana 7-7 seven, seven Trampler that gains 7 life when it enters the battlefield. So another great tool alongside Ilharg. And when the worm dies, we also get to draw a card. And then our mana base is pretty straightforward. 8 mountains, 8 forests, 4 copies of Rootbound Crag and 4 stomping grounds. So that's the deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, this hand seems reasonable. We've got one mana accelerants to go with our Ilhargs. Something's dying. Nope. Alright. Can go Domri into Lanerals. Fungal infection, so that's what they had. I think we play Phoenix, could also play 4 mana Domri to set up for Ilharg, but that could get countered. Nah, let's try it. I guess we want to minus, get our value while we can. Alright. So we could cast an Ilharg with haste next turn if our planeswalkers survive. Alright, sweet. I've lived with animals my entire life. My muscles may be small, but watch out when I flex them. Alright, that's a lot of damage. Not bad, not bad. The double Domri is pretty sweet. Bam! Nice. Alright, the sand seems okay. So which... Planeswalker are we playing here? Um, I guess Domri? I don't know. Drawing cards is fun too. Let's go with Kira. Alright, up against the Token Go White deck. I mean, could just play an Ilhark here. Doesn't sound bad. Or we could play a Domri and then have a hasty Ilhark next turn. Now let's just play Ilhark now. The ocean surges like and then next turn we can Domri minus go digging for more creatures to put in play with Ilhark. Seems fine. Four runners at the top end could be sweet. Although Ronos almost does the same in terms of pumping the team, and the Forerunners are a bit more difficult to hardcast. Alright. Alright, at least one of our four drops gets the resolve. Oh, that's my anarchy. Anarchy. For me, 
All right, I'll take one of these and probably a backup growth chamber guardian over Placa Worm. Next turn we can play Guardian and Adapt. Ooh, or play an Ilharg. A little pick me up before the real fun begins. <laughs> nice. Uh sure. I don't think this deck is very good against mono reds since they can kind of burn out our mana elves and then our deck is too slow. Hopefully Domri can survive a couple turns. If we draw 5 drop and Domri is still around we can play him. War boss is scary. Alright so we're super dead but I guess we'll play Kira. I guess if Kira survives, we get to play a worm and draw a card next turn, killing the war boss. Seven loyalty is a lot to get through. Let's see how dead we are. For mana, is it frenzy time? It's risk factor time. Well, I don't really want to take four, because then we're probably dead. But if they draw three, we're also probably dead. Guess we can hope they draw all mountains. Need a Palaka worm off the top. That's no Palaka worm. I guess we're technically not that on board. But what are the odds that our opponent doesn't have a 3 damage burn spell in 5 cards? A shock will do it as well. I mean, if we were dead, we would have been dead already. Goes for the experimental frenzy, alright. 
we get another look at a Palanca Worm. Three mana Domri. It's no Palanca Worm. I guess we can try and draw with Kiora. Let's see, three. Yeah, I mean, I guess we need to draw a Palanca Worm with a Kiora trigger. Alright, still no Palaka. I look forward to seeing you running away. I guess we'll attack first and see what happens. Nothing to put in place, sadly. So we might see Chump with a Firebrand and Sack. Opponent takes it. Alright. Well, I'm surprised we're still in the game. Thought we were already dead. Pwn finds a land of the top into Firebrand. Into another land, maybe. They can maybe sag the frenzy, use a one mana burn spell, and then we're dead. Alright, risk factor. Can draw all the cards. Well, I guess we get another turn. They just wanted to refresh the top card of their deck. Alright, I think we're still alive. Just barely. A light of the stage finds Mountain Lightning Strike, so we're dead next turn, that's for sure. But we get to untap. Get to go digging with Domri, although, yeah, I mean, I guess that's still the play here. Dig with Domri, hope to find something. And then Rhythm can give haste. Aronos. Okay. So now what? How much mana do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can play Rhythm. Untap. Play Hasty Growth Chamber Guardian. Give this haste, put a counter on it, find another one, and then put Ronos in play with Ilharg, that's probably better. Take action. Haste. All attack. Trigger Ilharg. We also get to draw a card here. With Kiora. We've got 14 Trample here, so I'm pretty sure they're dead. Wow. How did we win this game? Alright, this hand has a lack of 5 drops, but uh, seems keepable. Yeah, Ilharg saved our bacon. Up against the gates, or just Gruul. Gruel it is. Alright. 
Uh, Gruel versus Gruel, and there's a, a Ronas, that's a good one. So we can just uh, double up on two drops and next turn play Ronas. Sounds good. And the Incubation Druid's gonna make a ton of mana. Incubation Druid down. Fair enough. I guess we can wait a turn on Ronas, play some more Growth Chamber Guardians in the meantime. And I don't really want to trade since we have Ronas coming up. Growth Chamber Guardian is such a cool card. Oh yeah, Ilhark off the top would be sweet. Attack, I'll take it. Harpooner. In two. Growth Chamber Guardian. Alright, so no Ilhark off the top, sadly, that's okay. So I think we're just uh, playing Ronas and then Elves can attack as well. And that'll do it. Sweet. Well, when does that go off? It's pretty epic. Sure, this hand doesn't have the Rhythm of the Wild, but I think we can still keep a little awkward that we can't play the Elves on turn 1. Ooh, there's a Rhythm. Yeah, I guess I'll play the Elves first still. Is this a turn 2 Thought Erasure? Nope, moment of craving, that's fine. Alright, let's hope they don't have a Mortify. And their hand is all counter spells. Take action. Kaya's Wrath time. It is not. So we could go double Growth Chamber Guardian again. Might be a little bit greedy. I think I'm just going to go with Ronos here. Try and get our damage in while we can. And then we can follow up a Sweeper with more Growth Chamber Guardians if we have to. Well, this is uncounterable, so maybe they want to use a Contempt. Yeah, that's not gonna do the trick. <laughs> they even added the new animation where uncounterable cards glow red now, so... I guess uh, maybe they didn't have anything else. Alright, hand looks reasonable. Need some top-end threats to go with this. But got a nice ramp start. Facing the turn 1 lava runner. Well, there's our top-end threats. And if they kill the Elves, we still have a turn to play lined up. Alright, all the man elves die. So it's interesting what we want to play here, since if we play a rhythm, then we're not really close to casting Ilharg. Whereas if we play Domri, and if Domri survives, then we can maybe with a land play Ilharg. 
Although Rhythm into Druid could be a way to generate a lot of mana. So it's kind of close. I guess we'll go with a Rhythm first. And then if we draw land next turn we can go Domery into Druids with a plus one counter on. Because Domery is probably not going to survive and then... We're not really making a ton of progress. Steamkin. Phoenix. Alright, no land sadly. So I guess we're playing a druid with a counter on it. And then hope it survives. Pwn probably has a wizard lining here that they're gonna use. But then maybe they're out of burn spells for the rekindling phoenix. If we draw a mountain. Shock plus Firebrand to take out Druid. A Lance would go a long way. Oof. It's rough. Well. We're probably dead now. Yeah, they had a few too many removal spells for mana elves, and now we're stuck with a few too many expensive cards in hand. Would have been a great draw if we got a Ilharg in play with a Ravager Worm and Palaka Worm. Can hope they ignore Domri, and we get to cheat Ilharg in play, put a Palaka Worm in play. Gain life back, that's a way to stabilize. Alright, they're ignoring Domri. To an extent, maybe they have a second main Chain Whirler to finish it off. Looks like it. Alright, it's too bad. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to play Ilharg anyway. Alright, GG's. Turn 1 Elves, turn 2 Kyora, turn 3 have a lot of options. Phoenix is pretty decent against Mono White. Could untap the Elves and then kind of offer the trade for the Aspirant, I don't think we want to do that. We'll keep Kyora at 7 loyalty. Alright, Pwn splashing blue for Teferi. Alright, Enforcer can tap down a Phoenix, so that's a little annoying. Ooh, hello. Well, I guess we're playing an Ilharg instead of a Phoenix. And this Solarun Enforcer is going to be pretty taxed. Another Hallowed Fountain, cost them 4 life already to play blue. Looks like a Conclave Tribunal coming down. I'll take action. And then Phoenix is gonna redraw the Ilharg pretty soon. Could even be worth it to play a bunch of Growth Chamber Guardians instead, as it lines up better against the Enforcer. 
But I guess we can play Phoenix and a 2-drop as well here. That's a good one too. I'll play the Guardian here since that actually threatens to trade. And the Worm is gonna stabilize us nicely. Can take out that pesky Enforcer. Alright, Baffling Ant gets rid of Guardian. Enforcer taps down Phoenix. They can hit us for 5 and flip the landing. They might get rid of Kira now. Nope. Faces the place. Alright. So the bodyguard's protecting the enforcer, sadly. I think we're still playing the worm. Let's get Could also destroy Adanto. With the worm's ability, maybe that's better. Yeah, maybe actually that's better. Since we can destroy the Enforcer anyway. I have to use the Enforcer to dab down a Phoenix so the Aspirant can attack. So we could have also decided to go after the Aspirant but that was also protected by a Bodyguard. Yeah, Kyura drew us quite a few cards. Still gonna be close here. Because of all those bodyguards. Need to find another Phoenix. Could attack with Phoenix, untap with Kyura to get in some damage and try and race. Um, or we can just put a Growth Chamber Guardian in play, which is probably better. And then maybe next turn, if we were lucky and top deck like a Ronos, we can get in a ton of damage. Wow, opponent concedes. Didn't think they were too far behind there, but fair enough. Just needed to find an answer to the Aspirant or the Lorwyn Enforcer with a couple of draws, but uh, I guess the pig is pretty intimidating. Alright, sweet. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.